Hi guys, so it's been about two weeks or so since I've last posted a video. I'm sorry about that. I've just been really busy with kind of doing a lot of cool stuff. I've been shadowing a dermatologist and I've been super busy in lab. I'm there like almost every other day for five hours, so I spent a lot of my time there. And um, I actually finally have like tests and stuff, so things to do in school too. Those are coming up. I finally have um, getting a little bit more busy. So I've just been adjusting to that. And speaking of that, I wanted to talk to you guys about how to balance school and a social life um, in college, which is something I've gotten pretty good at recently. Um, it's something that I've also been working on for a really long time because it can take a while for you to finally realize like how you like to balance your stuff. So. When it comes to college, um, I guess you learn more about over the years what works best for you. But freshman year, I wasn't really good at balancing like schoolwork and a social life. Um, in high school, I mostly focused on schoolwork. I didn't really have a social life. I didn't really hang out with friends outside of class. I didn't really do things outside of class. I'd come home and study and pretty much spend time with my family and that was my life. So coming into college, I kind of wanted to do the same thing freshman year. And um, I would kind of say no to a lot of things and be like, I need to stay home and study. And I would be studying like a week before I even had a test and I'd still be like, sorry, no, I can't have to study. So I'd miss out on a lot of stuff and I kind of, I'm disappointed and looking back, I wish I hadn't done that. Um, thankfully, I've changed over the years and, you know, actually go through things. But back then I'd be like, no, I can't even go get ice cream right now. I need to study and like miss out on a lot of stuff. So I'm kind of sad about that. But, um... Yeah, so I definitely didn't know how to balance that. I was mostly, once again, school-oriented and school-focused because that's what it was like for me in high school, so I thought I'd do the same thing in college. But in college, it's kind of different because you are on your own. You do, um, you can do whatever. So you are kind of responsible for yourself, so it's up to you to do whatever you want, whenever you want, and um, just find that balance. So I definitely recommend um, knowing how you study, which also took a really long time for me. I kind of, like wouldn't effectively study when I was younger. I'd study like over an entire week for one exam and just do it like slowly and in chunks. And um, instead of like, I don't know, actually like hardcore focusing and like hardcore core studying, I kind of just like, you know, whatever, casual study, check my phone all the time, not really pay attention, blah, 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 read over the slides 500 times and think that would stick instead of actually actively memorizing it. So I didn't really know how to study and I think that's why it took me so long to study. I mean, it still worked, I'd get A's, but I would definitely study like a week in advance to do it that way and recently I've noticed I don't need an entire week to study. <laughs> um, if I really want to get stuff done and study efficiently I need like three days um, I think like about three days and um, that depends again because I don't have exactly like three full days I might have a half day I might have another half day and then another half day so usually I need at least two full days like two full 12 hour days to like st study like officially for a subject and to um, know them and do really well. So if I plan out my life like that, I know when I can go have fun, when I can go socialize, when I can be with friends, and also have it all planned out. I love to do things ahead of time. I'm still that type of person who likes to do all of her assignments and stuff ahead of time. So um, I knew I had assignments due on Wednesday that I've done like weeks and weeks before. Like I, I did it like I think the first week of school. So um, I knew I thought it was due last week. So I guess maybe that's why. But anyway, it's actually due this week. So I had like two assignments I had to do, and I ended up doing them two weeks ago. So um, I have that all out of the way, and didn't have to worry about that this week. Um, I knew I had a quiz tomorrow. So I've been studying for that quiz since um, Friday, Saturday, kind of just like looking over it, but like hardcore Sunday and. Um, yesterday and then today I've been studying a lot more and like really reading and actively memorizing it and so I planned out for that and I didn't do anything crazy on Sunday or anything crazy Saturday night so I could be like all wide awake and ready to go Sunday and um, you also have to plan for that like if you go out with your friends and you guys are out really late at night um, just know that the next day you're gonna be dead tired it's gonna be it's gonna probably take you a couple hours to recuperate slash even if you can't you might not even be able to because you're so tired from lack of sleep or um, stuff like that so just plan for that make sure you know like oh if I'm gonna stay out this late it's gonna affect me like this the next day and just make know who you are and how you work I really need to sleep at night like I need to get at least um, seven hours of sleep to function the next day properly if I get less than that I have a really hard time focusing I can drink as much coffee as a 
it's possible and I still can't focus and I'm still really tired the whole day and I just don't feel like I'm really there and it's just a waste of a day for me so I really try to sleep if I can and not stay out too late um, some nights I do stay out a lot later like if I know that I don't have anything to worry about the next day which recently as a senior that's been happening a lot like I've been able to just like hang out with friends like even during the weekdays not just on the weekends because I don't have much to do or much to worry about the next day and I don't have class very early like my earliest class I think this whole year is at 10 so life's been pretty good like that but I just like to make sure that I have my assignments done I'm not really a last minute person um, you know it's up to you how you work I don't really like to procrastinate I like to I feel I feel better if I know that I have something done and um, even if I do it way too early and so just make sure you have your assignments done make sure that you know how you study and how do you prepare for tests and quizzes so that you um, are ready for that and um, then balance in your social life um, ask your friends hey do you want to do this this weekend do you want to go to this place this weekend Do you want to see this movie do you want to hang out do you want to go get something to eat and just like you know add it in um, it doesn't have to be anything crazy if you don't have that much time you could do like an hour or two hour during the weekend um, take a break from studying and stuff like that but it really just does help to have a social life too during college and not just study nonstop because um, you do go crazy. Like I know Alex sometimes will be like, I'm leaving the library, I'm coming home, I need social contact, so come talk to me. And I'm like, okay, because <laughs> um, I can, I, I know how it feels like to be nonstop studying and not talking to anyone. That's kind of how it was for me when I was doing the MCAT. And it's just hard when you do it like that. Um, you kind of just go crazy on your own. You start talking to yourself. It's pretty bad. Um, so it's just better to try to make time for friends. Um, let's see. It depends also on you, like what you prioritize more, like a social life or a school. And I definitely think you can do both. It doesn't have to be one or the other. I've been able to do both. Like some days I'll just be like, sorry, I can't do this or I can't hang out. I really need to study for something. And other weekends I'm like, yo, let's all go out and do something together. Let's all like go get some ice cream or something. And then I get all the roommates together and stuff and we do something. So, um, you know, also you can definitely be the one to make plans too. Um, if you ever want to go do something, ask around and see who wants to go with you. That's totally good. Totally works too. And, um... Yeah, that's what kind of I've been doing. I definitely recommend you can also have a planner and like plan out your day and plan out what you're going to do when and where and how. And um, that also feels a lot better if you know when you're going to do something, how long it's going to take, um, and then what you have time for after that. So I already planned out today. I really wanted to make a video for YouTube. Um, I was in lab today for five hours. So in lab, I tried to spend at least two of those hours studying so I didn't have much to do and then the other three actually doing stuff for lab. So um, I just kind of like prioritized, now I'm home, I'm probably going to study after this video for my quiz again and then make something th to eat and then I think I'm going to call it good for studying for my quiz until tomorrow morning before my class. So that's kind of just how I planned out my day and um, I don't know, yeah, so stuff like that and then I know after this Wednesday I'm free, I can hang out with people if I want to Thursday, Friday, the weekend. And then I have another test next Wednesday that I need to like worry about and prepare for on the weekend. So yeah, I hope that helped you guys out. A lot of you guys are really interested on, in how I'm balancing my social life and how I'm doing well in school at the same time. And it's definitely possible um, if you're a planner like me, uh, if you like to plan out your life, if you like to do things ahead of time, and if you know how you study and stuff, um, then it's definitely possible. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my upcoming videos. Bye guys.